Hey y'all, Brooke the Broker here. So lately I've been hearing some conflicting information. Prices are going down, but values are increasing. How in the heck can that happen? Well, in this video, I tell you exactly what the difference is between price and value. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is going to be a really short video, guys, compared to some of my others lately. But before I go on to talk about price versus value, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I know there are many more people who need to hear this, not just the very few people who are subscribers here right now. So please subscribe, please share this, put it on your Facebook, share it around. I would love more subscribers because more people need to hear the truth and the facts about the real estate market here in Fredericksburg. And if you're outside of the Fredericksburg area, some of the things I share, stats and stuff like that might not necessarily apply to you, but things like price versus value, that is the same throughout the world. So please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to share this great information to even more people. So you're hearing the headlines, price reductions are on the rise, prices are going down, Price is this, price is that. Now this is on real estate, okay? But then in the next breath you hear the forecast is values are going to keep going up. And one of the challenges we have in the real estate industry is we use the words price and value interchangeably. But the reality is those two things are very different. Value is what a home is worth. Price is what somebody pays for it. So one of the things we had in the last couple years is we had people willing to pay a price higher than the actual value of the property. Now I know you heard of people offering money above an appraisal, offering money above a listing price, and that is offering a higher price above the value. Now, one thing that does happen because of supply and demand and the appraisal process, the appraisal process determines the value of the property based on the most recent relevant sales and what prices they sold for. So as prices go up, the value can go up at the same time, okay? So that's one reason why we see these big increases in uh, medium home price, okay? The value has steadily, 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 steadily gone up. So if you watched one of my last videos where I compared the year of the crash in the Fredericksburg area, which was 2007, I compared that to 2022, the beginning of the year. And in 2007, the average price in our area was $310,000. And in 2022, so far this year, the average is 425. There's a 15 year gap between those years and a $115,000 increase over 15 years, it's pretty reasonable. It's kind of like this, okay? So the values of homes have gone up and they've continued to go up, but it's the pricing that's very different. So today I did a market analysis on a home that clients of mine purchased just two years ago in the summer of 2020. And it was interesting to me to see and determine what the value of the home is. And in this current market, the value of the home is a combination of the homes that have sold and making adjustments and things like that. So we're kind of comparing apples to apples here. That's number one. And then number two, looking at the homes that have just recently gone under contract because those buyers and those sellers are operating in the current market. The ones that have sold quite possibly could have been in the crazy market we had at the beginning of the year. So I look at those two numbers and they're usually pretty close together. 
And that gives me a little bit of a range. So it's like the value of the house is in between this range right here. Well, in this neighborhood, I looked at the active homes and I made adjustments to those active homes. So it was kind of like apples to apples comparison. And I will tell you this, all but two seemed to be very much overpriced. Their value was lower than what the price was. So I will tell you this, all of those homes except those two will probably have to do price reductions. And hopefully the expectation of the seller is reasonable and they don't think their house is actually worth the listing price they put it on the market for. The home is actually worth a little bit less. And in the end, the value of a home is truly what a buyer is willing to pay for the home. That is the value. When you are listing your home, you can list it for whatever price you want. We could list your two bedroom condo with one bath and it hasn't been updated since the 1980s. We could list that for $2 million but it's not gonna sell at $2 million. It's gonna sell at its value. And until we get the price closer to where the value is, it's probably not gonna sell at all. The culture in our market, we don't undercut things here, okay? So if a buyer goes to something and they think it's overpriced, they're just moving on to the next property. They really don't wanna haggle that much with a seller. The other thing is in our previous market, we were able to use the strategy of well, here's the value, but let's set the price a little bit higher because we know the market is going to catch up to it and catch up to it very quickly. That strategy does not work right now. So the other two strategies that are out there that will work is number one, price it under value. It will sell very fast and it will end up selling at value, if not a little bit more. The beauty of underpricing the home is time. It happens faster. If somebody needs to sell their house in two weeks, they need to market it at a lower than value price. And just trust us, it will sell for value. It will be okay. If the other strategy is just a normal, let's put it at market value, Let's be competitive. Let's make sure our market value is competitive with the other homes that are on the market. And it will sell in a reasonable amount of time. And right now that's 25 to 30 days, okay? So 25 to 30 days at the average value. And the important thing is you need to monitor the competition every single week because now the competition is changing their pricing. They're offering to pay closing costs. They're making changes every single week to make their home seem more appealing and compelling to a buyer. We need to stay on top of that so you can make adjustments as well. There is a difference between price and value. And I am practicing using those words separately. It's gonna take a lot of practice because for very long we've talked about the two using the same, you know, it's the same definition, but they truly are different things. So I hope this video helped you understand from a real estate perspective, the difference between price and value. And yes, prices could be coming down and you'll see price reductions, but the values of homes are going to stay pretty steady, if not go up just a little bit through the end of the year. If you or someone you know needs to sell in the Fredericksburg area, I'm your girl. I've got a great team. I've been doing this for almost 19 years. I love what I do. I study the market every single day and I wake up every single day so excited to help my clients with their real estate needs. So please reach out, click on the links below. You can reach out to us. It's easy to schedule a consultation or download a guide or get in touch with us. And we'd love to be able to help you and all of your referrals. Have a great day.